we're going to cover a single cooler by Scythe, the Mugen 6. And this review will cover four areas, the looks, installation, sound, and performance. Let's start with the looks of the cooler. The Scythe Mugen 6 offers a clean and polished look with a single 120mm fan on a 80mm thick heatsink. This cooler has a polished top, which hides the heat pipes and offers black accents from the fan. Additionally, this cooler comes with additional brackets to allow for another cooler to be secured to the back for a push-pull configuration. In regards to insulation features, this cooler features the industry standard insulation process. One thing to note is that one screw is under the heatsink, which requires you to use the screwdriver that comes with this cooler. But this is to be expected with the larger monolithic heatsink such as the Mugen 6. Here's a quick overview of the insulation process. First, you want to remove any brackets currently installed on your motherboard and install the brackets relative to your CPU. Once the brackets are installed, apply a thermal paste to the CPU. Once enough thermal paste has been applied, install the cooler onto the brackets and secure it with the screwdriver that came with the cooler. With the cooler secured, place the fan springs onto the fan and secure it to the cooler. Before we look at performance, here's a 10 second clip of raw audio of the cooler. I increase the noise level so the cooler is clearly audible. I know you're here to see how this cooler performs, so let's dive into it. We'll first compare this cooler to the average cooler, and then show you the results based on coolers of a similar weight class. For each compare, we'll show the coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and show you two sets of charts. One that looks performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds against the average coolers tested, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Scythe Mugen 6 and red performs slightly cooler than the average cooler in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that its gap holds steady. Additionally, we see that the Scythe is noticeably quieter at the higher RPMs. When we push the cooler to 130 watts, we can see that the Mugen 6 struggles to handle the higher heat loads, which is to be expected from a cooler of this size. And if you want to stay up to date on more benchmarks, hit that subscribe button. In our second set of charts normalized by sound against the average cooler, we have temperatures on the left, Noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, we can see that the Mugen 6 provides slight cooling advantage for a given noise level. And we push the CPU to 105 watts, we can see that the Mugen 6 pulls ahead slightly at the lower noise levels. When we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this cooler struggles to keep the CPU cool. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Next up, we'll compare the Scythe Mugen 6 to a few other coolers in its weight class, including the Mugen 5 Rev C, the Arctic Freezer 36, and the Noctua NHU12S. Additional comparisons can be found on my website at PCAnalytics.com. At idle, we can see that both the Mugen 6 and the Arctic Freezer 36 have a slight advantage relative to the Mugen 5 and the NHU-12S. As we increase the watts to 105, we can see that the Mugen 6 provides a slight improvement over the Mugen 5 across the board, with only the Arctic Freezer 36 providing slightly better cooling at the lower RPMs, but this advantage lessens at the higher RPMs. Additionally, the Mugen 6 shows noise improvement over the Mugen 5, but is moderately louder than the Freezer 36 and the U-12S at the higher RPMs. When we increase the heat to 130 watts, we can see that this relationship holds and that the shown coolers all struggle to keep the heat under control at the higher heat loads. Next up is our chart normalized by sound. At idle, all coolers offer similar performance for a given noise level, with only slight differences among the coolers shown. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Mugen 6 shows improvement over the Mugen 5, but runs slightly hotter than the Freezer 36 and the NHU-12S at comparable noise levels. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. And if you want to deep dive into the Arctic Freezer 36, check out this video here.